All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to another Monday, another BFit Live program, a chance for us to focus on ourselves, on our health, on our wellness, and progressing our strength throughout the week. All right, team, I hope you have all have had a great weekend. All right, once again, let's get settled in. Let's uh, focus on um, grabbing that towel, grabbing some water, finding that open space that we may need for today's workout. Speaking of today's workout, we have a resistance Resistance-based workout available for you today. All right, so we're going to focus on some key muscle, um, some key muscle groups uh, to strengthen ourselves through today's workout. Okay, again, resistance training for today. If we have any dumbbells, if we have any um, additional resistance that we can add to these movements to scale them up to make them a little bit more challenging for us, let's go ahead and grab that. Either a dumbbell, uh, some kettlebells. Um, anything, again, anything with resistance, but welcome into today's BFIT Live, all right? Our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each round, all right, team? Once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises through each round, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round, all right, team? When, before we get settled in and get started, um, we'll go through some dynamic stretching. I will demo each movement. That way we know exactly what we are going to tackle for today. Uh, take a note, take a listen to any coaching cues that you may uh, be able to take away from each movement. And then we will move into, again, our dynamic stretching <clears throat> and then into our workout. All right, <clears throat> let me pull you up here. That way I know exactly who we're talking to. Um, if you're new to the program, welcome. Drop us a note in the comments below. Leave me a note here. Let me know where you're joining from. Let me know where you're watching from, where you're working out from. All right, team. Um, so let's start off with the movements for today. All right, we're talking about resistance training. We're, we're talking about strength training. So we wanna be mindful of the movements that we tackle for today. So with the first movement, all right, movement number one, we have a combo movement. We're gonna target our lower body here with our hamstrings first and then our quads, all right? So we have a good morning to a squat combo. So with that good morning, we're gonna work on some posterior work here, our hamstrings and our glutes. We're gonna take our feet. They're gonna be shoulder width apart. Always, as always, a soft bend at those knees. We wanna hinge at those hips, push those hips back as if you were pushing in a door, right? Cross those hands either over your chest. Uh, if we scale up, we're gonna add some weight and hug it close to our chest here, but we have a good morning, which we're gonna hinge at the hips. You should feel that stretch in our hamstring from here. Again, shoulder width apart at, those, at that foot placement because once we come out back to standing position, we're gonna drop down into a squat and then back into that hinge movement for a hamstring activation, glute activation as you stand back up top and then into a squat. All right, so good morning to a squat combo is gonna be movement number one, all right? Movement number two, we are on deck here with a dumbbell or without, but we have another combo movement here. We have a push up to a row, okay? So 20 seconds on each arm with a dumbbell. So with this movement here, we're gonna take our hand, shoulder width apart as well, stack that hand underneath our shoulder, get into a nice high plank position. From here, we're gonna drop down into that push up, extend back up. From here, you want to go ahead and set yourself up, feet shoulder width apart as well. Give yourself a little bit of stability here with that foot placement, and you're going to go into your row. From here, reset yourself, back down into that push-up, extend all the way out, high plank position, and then we are into a row. So we have a push-up with a row combo <clears throat> for 20 seconds. We're going to alternate arms, reset ourselves up into that high plank position, a push-up, and then a row. So a push-up and a row combo for movement number two, all right? Take this movement nice and slow, okay? If we need to regress here, we can take out the dumbbell, just go to our standard push-up here. Stack our hands underneath our shoulders, flat back, hips are square to the floor. Push back into those heels to engage your lower body into that push-up, and then nice, strong squeeze with that elbow tucked in close to our torso, right? We need to regress. Let's go off to our knees here. Go off of our knees into that push-up. Lead with your chest, hips are up. Extend back up and then squeeze that elbow close to our torso with that row, all right? That row is going to activate and target our lats and our mid to upper back for that posterior upper body work, okay? So we have a little bit of push movement, a little bit of pull movement for number two. Number three, 
you're going to get into a half kneeling position here. All right. We want to work on our shoulders. All right. Isolating and targeting our shoulders with a half kneeling shoulder press. We're going to take that dumbbell, whichever we may choose. Okay. Half kneeling here. Make sure that our chest is up nice and proud. We're going to front rack our dumbbell, 90 degree bend at our elbow here. From here, we're going to press up. Bicep meets the side of your ear here. Reset right back down. Control this movement on the way up and on the way down. Okay. Your right hand has that dumbbell. Your left knee is up. Okay. Hips are open up to that dumbbell side. I like to keep my hand either. You can have it out, you can have it rested on your hips or supporting your chest as you keep it up nice and proud. 20 seconds on one arm. We're going to quickly move under, move over and alternate arms for 20 seconds for that second rest of that set, okay? So 40 seconds of work in total, just like the row, 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other, 20 seconds each shoulder press for movement number three. And last and final movement here to round us out on our rounds, we have a core twist. So we're gonna sit back on our glutes here, on our hips, heels can be on the floor or they can be up if we wanna scale up, all right? Heels on the floor here, we're going to recline back into a 45 degree angle. You wanna make sure that that chest is up facing uh, somewhat of the ceiling if that's what you have over you. <laughs> All right, from here, you're going to twist, make sure and twist those shoulders and your torso over to your hip side. So hands come out to the hips, touch those hips and rotate to the other side, making sure that your head is tracking along with your torso, okay? So we wanna keep that spinal alignment, if you will, from that neck all the way down to that spine and to those hips. You wanna make sure that we are tw twisting with that head and that torso as we keep our core nice and tight contracted, bringing that navel back towards our spine. And with that twist, we are going to engage our obliques, okay? So our obliques here, along with that core activation. All right, nice controlled movements for movement number four. That's that core twist. And that's gonna round us out for that full body workout, all right? We have hamstrings, we have glutes, we have quads, we have chest press, we have a dumbbell row for our mid to upper back and our lats. We have our shoulder press for our shoulders. And last but not least, we have our core twist to activate and isolate our core. All right, team, sound good, sound good. Greetings from Phoenix. All right, Carla, good to see you, welcome in. All right, I hope you are ready, team. I hope you're ready to be Fit Nation because we are gonna put in some work for today. All I ask is that you give me a little bit, a lot of your effort, all right? A lot of your effort, that's what it's gonna take here to push us through through this workout. All right, let's start off with some dynamic stretches before we go into our workout. As always, we wanna make sure that our bodies are nice and primed, nice and warmed up and ready to go. <clears throat> all right, team. So let's start off with dynamic quad stretch. All right, we're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back towards our hips. Speaking of hips, we want to push those hips forward. You should feel that stretch in your hamstring, I'm sorry, in your quad, in your hip flexors, balancing off of that leg, that opposite hand goes straight up. All right, we're gonna do each of these, alternate left leg and right leg, left arm and right arm. We'll do each of these movements for about 30 seconds here. Focus on your breathing as well. This is a great time to kind of scan your body to see where you may be tight from this morning, from the weekend, from the week before, right? Every day, every morning is going to be a little different from, for us. So that's a great time to focus on where we might be tight and really sit in on that movement, on that stretch just a little bit longer. All right, team, let's go into lateral lunges here for some nice uh, inner thigh stretch here. We're just going to take those feet, put them out nice and wide, all right? Wider than shoulder width apart. Those feet are going to be fixed. Those toes are going to be faced forward. We're going to go ahead and sit and switch and shift our weight over from the left and to the right here. All right, we're going to feel a little bit of that stretch in our inner thigh once again. But not only that, we're going to start to warm up our legs, warm up our quads, our glutes, start getting our targeted muscle groups to fire up so that way they can be ready to work whenever we are going to ask them to work within these next few rounds. <sighs> Once again, keeping that chest up, nothing too aggressive here. If you need to stretch out, 
find a little bit of extra movement in these movements. Let's go ahead and do that. Last three seconds here. Two, one. All right, team, let's go up with a reverse lunge and a reach. So we're gonna come up to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna take that right leg. We're gonna extend it back into that right lunge. Bring that knee straight down. That right knee tracks into that 90 degree bend. Bring our knees, bring our hands together here. And we are gonna reach over to the left side, whichever our lead foot, lead leg is on. That's the side that we reach over to. Drop down, alternate. Right side reach. Good. Pick up the tempo just a little bit. Sit into that reverse lunge, feeling our hips open up. Again, think about if we've been seated for a long period of time, those muscle fibers, they're gonna be shortened. So we want them to lengthen and really open up here. We want our muscle groups to really fire up when we ask them to fire up when we need them the most into that squat, into that push up, into that shoulder press. All right, team, good job here. Let's go into a few body weight squats here just because we have some coming up. So set, our, set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart here. Soften at those knees once again. I'm gonna bring my hands right in front of me here. I'm gonna go down to that body weight squat, wherever our comfort level may be, that's how low I want you to go, okay? Make sure our knees are tracking over the front of those toes, drive up through your heels, keeping our chest up nice and proud. Think about our breathing as well. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Drive that energy through your heels, through your quads, glutes. Bam, back to standing position. Last few more here. Last four, three, two, one. All right, team. Last movement here. Let's go into YTWs. All right, we have some shoulder work here. So let's work on some shoulder mobility, all right, to get those shoulders warmed up as well as our mid to upper back. So we're gonna take a nice strong stance here. We're gonna go into center is right here. We're gonna go into a big Y. Thumbs are facing the back of the room here. Back to center, big T, <sighs> squeezing those shoulder blades together and a big W, nice proud chest here. Big Y once again, thumbs pointing to the back. Set ourselves. Big T. Again, shoulder blades are coming together. Big W. Good. Big Y once again. Really stretch a little taller here. Back to center. Big T. Good. Find that breath. Big W. One more with a little bit of a quick tempo here. Big Y. Big T. Big W showing off those biceps. And we're good to go. All right, team, let's grab that water, reset, towel off here, and let's get ready to work. Mm -hmm. All right, once again, the timing for today, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round while I start our timer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, yes. Uh, Carla, once again, replay this later. Absolutely. Share this with your friends. Save this video. Work out with us at a later date. If you cannot work out at 11 a.m. today, Central Standard Time, obviously, um, save this for later when you get free, when you have a moment later on through your day. Hit play. Come back to Facebook. Come back to our Exchange Facebook page. Hit play on our BFIT Live programs, and they will be saved for you, as always, under our video playlist, BFIT Live. All right, team, starting our timer here. Once again, 10 seconds here. We have a good morning to squat combo. I'm gonna do body weight for that first round and then we'll scale up on that second, third and fourth round. Two seconds here. Good morning with a squat combo, setting ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna push those hips back. So hinge at those hips, right? Tucking my hands in close to my chest. Come back up, reset, and you're right back into that squat combo. So feeling that stretch in our hamstrings, pushing those hips back. Nice controlled movements with these resistance uh, movements that we're doing, all right? Nice control with these resistance movements. 15 seconds here. Good. Good, try to stay on your heels here, all right? Not on the balls of your feet. Eight seconds here. Out in five, push those hips back, back, back. Three, two, 
one and time. All right, not too bad here, right? A little posterior work with a little bit of a quad dominant movement with that squat. 12 seconds here. We guys have a push up row, a push up to a row combo. All right, once again, I'm gonna do my first round with body weight that we know, that way we know exactly what we can do without the weight and then we'll scale up. We're into that push up position. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock, stacking those hands underneath our shoulders. Push up position here, extend up, squeeze that elbow close to our torso, right? Pivoting off of one hand, 20 seconds for that left arm. Good, last three seconds here. Two, one, we're gonna switch that right hand coming up. Here we go, down, push up, up, with that high row, with that row. Good, last 10 seconds here. Again, coming up off of one hand, it's really forcing us to stabilize. We're asking our body to keep our hips square to the floor. So that means we need to engage our core and time, 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 20 seconds of rest here. Good job, good job. <clears throat> All right, let's grab that dumbbell. If we have it, we're gonna come into that high, uh, just that kneeling stance here. So that half kneel, three seconds here. My dumbbell is racked up in my right arm. Two, one, 20 seconds here. Half kneeling here, let me face you here. Again, keeping that chest up nice and proud. Control this movement on the way down with your dumbbell. All right, a little shoulder press activation to get to isolate our right shoulder and our tricep because we are pushing. So primary shoulder, secondary tricep. And we're switching 20 seconds on each arm here. So find a tempo that's comfortable for you here. Again, off of one knee, right? We're really focusing on stabilization. All right, asking our core to fire up, to balance us in two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. And we are down into a core twist. So while we're down here, let's just get ready to work here. Heels can be on the floor or they can be elevated. All right, reclining back, reclining back in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Core twists here. You're gonna recline back just about a 45 degree angle, twisting from the left and to the right. Our torso and our head are following in one direction. Good. All right, halfway there, team. Keep it up. Feel that core engagement, all right? Really bringing that navel towards our spine. 13, 12 seconds here. All right, where's your tempo? Is it comfortable? Is it faster than mine? Let me know. Five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. 60 seconds of rest here. Round one is complete. All right, team. That was a little too easy for us. Let's go ahead and scale up this next round, all right? Add in some weight. Whatever may be comfortable for us, let's go ahead and add in that weight. All right, team? <laughs> all right, now's a great time. We have 40 seconds left of our 60 second rest period. So make sure to towel off, make sure to stay hydrated as we start our second round. Mm -hmm. All right, with that movement, number two and number three, we're really asking ourselves to help stabilize coming off of one hand or off of that knee, right? So kind of forcing our bodies here to really counterbalance and counteract. So um, just, uh, it can be a little bit more challenging, but it's all fun here. All right, good morning to squat combo. I'm gonna add in some resistance. I'm gonna hold my weight close to my chest here, feet shoulder width apart. Hinging at the hips, pushing those hips back into that good morning. Reset down into that squat. All right. <laughs> pushing those hips back. Once again, that's going to be most important for that good morning. Okay. We want to feel that activation in our hamstrings and then back up into our glutes. <sighs> nice deep breaths in. Good. There we go. Out in 10 seconds here. Seven, when you hinge, bring that back down and your head wants to be tucked in in alignment with that spine. Two, one, and time. All right, team, sticking with that same dumbbell for me, we're gonna go into that push up with a row combination. 10 seconds here. All right, find that breath, find that space. Push up with a row, 20 seconds on each arm. Up in three, two, one, 
Stack that hand underneath our shoulders. We are down off of that push up with that elevated push up now. Left hand comes off the dumbbell. Good, nice strong movement here. Control that weight. 26 seconds. Really force those hips to stay square to the floor when you come up into that row. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Good. Again, feet about shoulder width apart. Into that row, five seconds here. Add in two. Last rep and time. All right, team. Dumbbell row complete. Scale up here, we have a kneeling shoulder press coming up in 10 seconds, all right? 10 seconds here. Again, find that weight that works best for us. My left knee is up, my right knee is down, my right hand has my weight, and we are going into that overhead press for 20 seconds. Good, can you get 20 reps in 20 seconds? 15, <laughs> sounds about comfortable. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, team, let's go ahead and alternate. Left knee down, right knee up, right hand is up with that press. Good, 10 seconds here. Find that tempo, bicep lands straight up right next to our ear in two, one, and time, 20 seconds of rest here. Last and final movement for round number two. Flying by here, we're halfway, almost halfway down here. Eight seconds here, core twists. All right, this time we're gonna scale up by elevating our feet in two, one, heels up, and sticking with our twist here. All right, this time we are keeping our heels up. Good, good, make sure to recline back here. All right, team, stay with us here, halfway here, halfway there, 20 and out, 20 and out. Good, if we need to reset, come back up, reset, put those heels on the floor, come right back down, recline back in for those last eight seconds. Out in five, four, three, two, finish it out, last rep and time all right team good work good work way to finish that second round here how are we doing how are these movements for us huh how are these movements doing for us all right team again these mondays are a great opportunity to help set the bar for where we want to be for this upcoming week right try and scale up here try and challenge ourselves this is where we this is where we set that tone set that tone for the week Stay with it, all right? If we push ourselves as hard as we can today for this moment, for this workout, then everything else should fall into place for our week, all right? Get our mindset right. Get ready to push. 15 seconds here, all right? Find that breath, find that towel. We have good morning squat combo coming up. Round number three. If we can scale up, let's go ahead and raise that tempo. I'm grabbing my dumbbell from the left and the right here, setting myself up, feet shoulder width apart, 40 seconds on the clock. Hinging, pushing those hips back. Posterior work there with that hamstring activation. Once again, when we hinge at those hips, our back wants to come flat. Make sure to tuck that knee, knee. Make sure to tuck that chin into your neck here. You wanna keep that spinal alignment so your head wants to be in alignment with your spine, right? Try not to look up, try not to tuck that chin in too much, but in alignment there. Add in five seconds here, hinge, posterior work, quad dominant. Two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Stay with us team, we have a dumbbell to push up row. Dumbbell push up with a row. I would argue probably the most challenging movement here just because we're trying to keep those hips Square to the floor. So we're asking a lot from our core as we pivot off of one hand. 40 seconds on the clock. Left arm first or right arm, whichever we are choosing. Again, keep that back nice and flat. Squeeze the top of your row. 
Good work here. 20 seconds here. Let's go ahead and alternate. I'm into my right arm now with my push up, with my row. Good. Keep those hips square to the floor here. I know it's challenging. Keep that core nice and tight. Deep breath in. One and time. Good job, team. Good job. Way to finish that one. That one's not easy. That one is not easy. All right, team. Kneeling shoulder press coming up. My right knee is down. My left knee is up. My right arm is going up. In two, one. Here we go, team. 20 seconds each arm. Make sure to keep that chest up nice and proud. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhale as you push up, as you press up. Three seconds here. We're going to alternate. Two, one. Let's go ahead and switch arms here. Nice and quick. Front rack, overhead press. Good. Any tests coming up for us, team? The yeah, physical fitness test or an ACFT? Let us know. Two, one and time. Let us know what tests you have coming up. Let us know what goals you have coming up. We're here to help you. We're here to keep each other accountable, to push ourselves every week together as a team, BFit Nation, as a team. All right. We are here. To, we are here. We are in it together. Core twist coming up in three, two, one. All right, team. This time my feet are elevated and I'm going to stick with a dumbbell here to add some additional challenges for this third round. Good. Stay with it. Find a tempo that works best for you, that's challenging for you, and stay with it. Try and keep that tempo the whole duration, that whole 40 seconds. With that, last 10 seconds. Stay with it. Finish this out. Out in five. Last three, two, one and time. All right, team. Third round is in the books. How are we doing? How are we looking? <laughs> Good job, team. Good job, BFit Nation. Stay with us here. Stay with us. This is a little hot in this gym today for us. What's the weather like over where you are at? Hmm? It's starting to warm up. Do we need to take our workouts outdoors? Mm-hmm, yeah, I see. All right, team, way to go. I love seeing comments come in from, from this workout or from previous workouts on how we are all helping to keep each other accountable for one, but also all the positive comments that you leave for each other, for ourselves, and also just to help us out as a team. All right, team, we have good mornings coming up with a combo coming up in two. One, all right, 40 seconds of work here. Last and final round. Last and final round, team. If we can scale up by weight, by resistance, by tempo, let's do it. This is the last and final round, all right? Last time we're gonna see this movement for today during this workout. Now, if we do two a days, press play on this live workout again later on today. Then you'll see it again. <laughs> All right, five seconds here. Let's grab these last two reps in two, one, and time. Good job, way to finish it out. Way to finish it out. Dumbbell row. Again, we wanna try and keep our core nice and tight. Keep those hips square to the floor here. Try not to open up those hips. And you go into that row. Five seconds here, if we need to scale back, drop the weight. Come off of our knees, down into that push-up, down into that row. Look something like this. Off your knee, lead with your chest, stand back up, squeeze with that row. All right, good. Keeping that hand stacked underneath our shoulder. And then we squeeze with that row. 22 seconds here, 21, last rep on the left side. Switching to my right side. Again, lead with our chest here. Good. Lead with our chest. Eight seconds. Last five, team. 
Out in three, two, one, time. Good job. Good job. Stay with that weight here. Find that balance, find that challenge. Scale up if we can. Kneeling shoulder press, half knee coming up in five seconds. Left leg is down, right arm is up. Two, one, I'm ready. Are we ready? Let's go. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Control that weight on the way down. There we go. Five more seconds and we're gonna alternate arms. Three, two, last rep here. Good, that one got me. Quickly transition, left hand is up, left hand, left arm. Push those hips forward, team. Nice 90 degree bend on our front leg. Out in five, three, two, one, and control. All right, team. Last and final set. Last set, best set, team. Core twist coming up. Find that challenge. Last 40 seconds of work, all right? We are up in five. Find that resistance. Two, one. Heels are on the floor or they are up in the air here. Just a few inches up, about four inches, three to four inches. Good. Good job, recline back. Head follows along with our torso. Don't forget about our breathing. Good. 15 seconds, team, what do we have? Leave it all here. This be fit live. Leave it here for us. Set the tone. Push through, stay strong. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause for that one. All right, team. Let's grab a quick, quick drink of water while we cool down here. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job, BFit Nation. Great work today, way to push through. Again, today was all about form, was all about control, okay? Was all about resistance training, adding a little bit of progressive overload into specific muscle groups that we are targeting for today's workout, all right? Full body workout at that, from our shoulders to our chest, our mid to upper back, our lats, our core, our lower body glutes, quads, you name it, ankles, calves, to help us stabilize. We activated every muscle group in our body today. All right, not only just our muscle groups, but also our mind, right? Really forces us to challenge. If we don't challenge ourselves, we don't change, right? We don't change for the better. We don't change for those goals that we're trying to achieve, all right? Stay with it. Let us know our goals, right? Remember them, write them down each and every week, all right? Which goals are we trying to achieve this week? Let us know, all right, team? Well, I hope you all have had a great fun workout along with our BFIT program. Again, as a reminder, we have more than 1,700 exchange restaurants that are available for you to choose from for a better for you option as far as eating and dining in at our exchange facilities, all right? If you hop on over to our express stores, we have 400 items of healthier choices, tagged products, all right, that we can serve from on each aisle, right? Look for that green shelf label tag that takes all the guesswork out of a healthier choice, all right? A healthier choice for smart snacking options. All right, team, our wellness services have you covered within our mall areas, our exchange mall areas. Look for durable medical equipment, look for that dentistry, look for chiropractic care or, or chirotherapy or anything like that that can help us heal and recover from the inside out. All right, team. Well, as always, I hope this challenged you. I hope it continues to help you stay active, to stay healthy, to stay ready, to stay resilient. And let's continue to stay fit throughout the week for the rest of this year, team. All right. BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes signing off for you. Have a great, strong week, team. Bye.